Hey guys, thank you for tuning in my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix your laptop slow performance issue. So there are two causes why your laptop would perform very slow. One would be because of your hardware, your low RAM or uh, your high uh, utilizing CPU or overheating of your laptop or because of the battery. And the other cause would be something to do within your operating system the catch files, the unused software, or Windows update, and anything as such. Today, I'm going to show you how you can fix the slowness issue caused because of something that's happening in your OS within your operating system. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe, click on the bell icon, like, share, and comment. Let's go into the video. The first step of our fix is startup apps. So to access the startup apps, go to the taskbar, right click, select task manager, select startup. So here you can see a set of apps are available. So what is the startup app? So what happens is when you start your laptop, when you boot your laptop, the applications, whomever status is enabled will start automatically in the background and it will keeps on running in the background until you stop it. So because of this, these apps can consume a set of RAM or it can consume CPU. Okay, to avoid this, you can disable the applications which is not required. So for example, Windows security notification is required. However, this one or tool is not required for me. So I'm just going to right click it and disable it. How much ever application is disabled here, you can save that much RAM and that much CPU. So the applications won't be running in the background. Okay, I recommend you to keep only the required applications here and disable all other applications. This will definitely enhance your system performance by a percentage. The second step would be to clear the temp files which is in your user profile. For that, I'm going to run and selecting percentage temp percentage. Here, you can find all the catch and temp files that is available in your system. Uh, I, ha I have recently deleted all my temp files that is the reason uh, you could see only a limited amount of files are there so you can just select all and delete it okay while doing this make sure that there is no any task running in your machine like uh, no other apps are open or no other task is running because if you do that the task whichever is running will be corrupted without saving so make sure there's no apps is open while you're clearing your temp files and next we are going to clear the system temp so for that just go to run and type temp even here you can select all and shift delete okay but again make sure that no applications is running on your machine while doing this so the fourth step would be to clear the prefetch so prefetch is also a sort of cache files that would be available in your windows 10 device so you can just select all and delete everything so after all this clearing step the next step would be to go to disk cleanup disk cleanup is an inbuilt feature available in windows 10 okay so this uh, app gives you the folders where you have uh, a bunch of catch files which has been never used so you have to select the drive i'm selecting c as my operating system is installed in c drive click ok you'll get a new tab here you got to select clean up system files select that and again you got to select the system drive click ok now this app will list out a folder where you can find catch files and temp files so here it's showing windows update cleanup i recently updated my windows so all the update packages are available here and upgrade log files temp files downloaded program files driver catch recycle bin temporary files thumbnails all the temp and catch files will be available here select the file which you need to delete and click ok so for now I'm not deleting this windows update cleaner because I just uh, recently updated my windows so in case if I want to roll back I would be needing this files so while deleting it be careful delete only the unwanted files 
After all this cleanup, next step would be to increase the virtual memory. How much ever memory your RAM, ha your system has, maybe 4 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM, there is an option provided by Windows operating system to increase your virtual memory. So how to do that? Go to the File Explorer, right click this PC and select Properties. So you'll be getting the settings option here you got to select advanced system settings which is in your right hand side select this and here you got to select first option settings and then go to advanced and select change by default my virtual memory is set as automatic so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uncheck it and I'm gonna customize the size so how we can customize the size for example, I am using a 8 GB RAM. 1 GB is equal to 1024 bytes. So 8 GB is equal to, you can just open your calculator and enter 8 into 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 4. So it gives a number as 8198. So the initial size would be 8192. So whatever is your RAM, you can give the space accordingly. And maximum size would be 2 into minimum size into 2 is equal to it's 16384. 16384. And you can select set. Click OK. The system will ask you to restart the machine. You can restart it right away or you can restart it after completing the full troubleshooting process. Okay, for now my mission is good so I will just roll back to my initial settings. So this is one important option that would really help you to enhance your system performance. So this is one important option that would really help you to enhance your system performance. Now coming to next. Next you can check your windows update if it is up to date or not. So just go to search and select windows update settings. Because windows update is very important. Okay, The security updates, the patch updates, in case if there is any bug in your uh, existing OS, this windows update can fix that bugs. So go here, I, I have paused my update for now but you will be getting option known as check for updates check for updates and keep your windows up to date that will really help you to enhance your performance so apart from that uh, some things which you can do is can go to the programs and features and check if there is any unwanted software so the software which you don't use you can uh, clear those softwares so that will also enhance the performance so these are some basic steps that would help you to enhance your system performance uh, you can also go for a OS reimage but that is the last case in case if all these steps are not working you can go for a OS reimage definitely I will drop in a video how you can reimage your OS on yourself or you can restore your uh, reset your OS by yourself okay and also I will drop in another video what how we can fix slowness issue caused by your hardware ram or cpu or whatsoever i hope this video has helped you please do subscribe my channel until next video it's bye from techinets thank you